Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. Appreciate your time and your support. Heading over to the post office. But I wanted to uh, give a huge shout out to Mr. J. Rods for blessing me, the channel, the team with a new dash mount. The Vixseed Easy Clip Car Mount. And on the box it says, make your life simple. I've been needing a new one for a while. I had the iAudi dash mount for quite some time. And uh, when vlogging in my car, you could hear this rattling in some of those videos. Sometimes a loud rattling, sometimes it was just minimal. But either way, it was getting older and the release handles on the side we're getting loose and so uh, I did a 4k 60 frame per second video test and in that video with the OnePlus 12 that I'm using right now to shoot this video at a 1080p 60 but in that 4k 60 did I say 4k 60 in 1080p 60 right now with the OnePlus 12 ah! anyway in that 4k 60 frame per second video uh, you could hear some of that rattling and uh, Mr. J-Rod wanted to gift me a new mount and of course there's that pride within me that says nah you don't have to do that but I humbled myself and uh, accepted this gift and what a blessing what a blessing J-Rod thank you so much really really do appreciate it um, so what I want you to do for me all of you is down below in the comment section let me know if you hear any type of rattling just any kind of odd noises that aren't the norm obviously there's me chit chatting with all of you there's the indoor car noise um, but anything outside of that let me know um, what happened to the mailboxes man they took away the mailboxes are you kidding me That's weird. Huh. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, let me know uh, how everything looks as far as uh, the video quality, visually, um, the audio quality and stabilization at 4... I want to say 4K60 again. 1080p60 with the OnePlus 12. I've already done a 4K60. Um... But yeah, man, super stoked to have uh, the new mount. You can use it on your windshield as well. Uh, and it comes with an adapter if you want to use it uh, in your uh, vents. I'll put up some information so you can see what you're going to see when you hit that link down below in the description area that will send you on over to Amazon. Uh, there's some information that, uh, that you can see right now. Um, and think about possibly bringing in what up to this point seems to be a pretty solid uh, dash mount. I'm really digging it. Been using it for a few days, and I finally got to got a chance to put out this video to thank Mr. J. Rods and give you all an opportunity to let me know, uh, you know, as far as the video quality, stabilization, all that, and and how this mount does. Uh, as far as uh, when shooting car vlogs, that it's not going to put out any type of rattling, any kind of squeaking. And you can tell because the mics will pick it up. It'll be cl very close. That Those odd noises will be very close to those mics coming from the dash mount itself. So, trust me, you could hear it in those videos with the iAudi dash mount. And it was a great mount to begin with, but after a while it got old, um, and I don't know if that happens a lot. Uh, I don't think that happened to my last iAudi. I just, I think I, uh, I don't know what happened to that. I think I gave it to my son. But either way, this one doing great. When it's got a different type of clamps, and uh, it just seems the wider, uh, the, the width of the clamps 
have a re a really nice snug hold. You can hear the clicks as you squeeze those clamps up against the sides of the smartphone and uh, some really good padding there to secure uh, whatever smartphone that I'm using. Uh, and it was easy to set up. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it on uh, as far as the dash mount, the Vixed V I C S E E D. Uh, again, all that information down below in the description area. And again, a huge shout out, Mr. J Rods. Quick update on my uh, OnePlus 12. I've already put up put out an update, but I'm going to put another one out. Um, battery life, I gotta say is great um, in comparison to the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL which is the best device in house right now with the best battery life and that's because I'm literally getting seven to nine hours of battery life it's crazy that device is so well optimized all my devices are pretty well optimized but that one just gives me that much more it doesn't matter what I throw at it man the battery life is just extremely extremely great I uh, got to remember everyone we all uh, use our smartphones differently so for what I do that's what I'm getting day in and day out as far as my one plus 12 it is it is giving me six to eight hours um, I'll put up some screenshots, but I wanted to start there just to let you know that this device should get you through your day. Now, unless you just don't put your phone down and you're gaming all freaking day long, and and you don't have you don't have a life, but that's that's your thing, man. Respect, okay? I, <laughs> but I hope you have a life and you're not holding your smartphone 24/7 and not doing anything else. Um, but connectivity is still great. Phone calls, texting going out, coming in, great. Haven't lost connection, whether I'm in the house, utilizing Wi-Fi or outdoors, driving, walking, utilizing data, whatever it is that I'm doing outdoors. Um, cameras, front, back, great, in my opinion. Um, I will say that the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has probably that much better video quality during the day, in the evening, uh, in the dark, I would say that the OnePlus 12 and the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and the 9 Pro Fold are about tied. Um, but you can't go wrong, uh, especially for what you're going to pay for this device in comparison to those other flagships. Hey, that's what you got to consider at the end of the day. If you're wanting to save money and you want a flagship, you want stock Android with a thin skin of Oxygen OS that gives you great customization. I'm telling you, man, it's it's a no-brainer. It really, really is, which really makes this device a, a front runner for year of device year of uh, the device of the year. Ah, um, smartphone of the year. In the end, there can be only one. Uh, so many areas that it just does so well. You do have a minimalistic curved display. As far as the OnePlus 13, you're going to get even more of a minimalistic curve display. I don't know why they just, they being OnePlus doesn't just go with a flat if it's just going to be super duper minimalistic. But either way, this display is like a foldable. When your foldable is open and you are into what you are doing, you are emerged into what you are doing, you literally don't see the crease anymore. When I'm watching movies, videos, and I'm doing daily whatevers on my OnePlus 12, I don't even know that this, the display is curved anymore, okay? It's, it's, it's an amazing, beautiful, vivid, sharp display. Speakers sound great.
this device does not get hot. I throw a lot at it. I create a lot of content on it. Yes, I've been doing that since I brought it in. Um, and uh, I shot a video or two over uh, my YouTube desk. Does great. Uh, performance functionality, everything is really well optimized. 512 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM that I got for under $800 plus a free watch. The uh, OnePlus Watch R2, 2R. Uh, can't remember exactly what it is, but um, anyway, uh, and there's a different deal going on right now, but do your homework. Um, but yeah, for what you're paying and what you're getting in all of those areas, the boxes are all checked. This is really, really a great experience for me uh, so far. Um, wow, that's all I can say. Wow, I, I don't have anything bad to say. No hiccups. It's all been solid. Um, if there's any questions, please ask down below in the comment section. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right, and with that, I'm done. God bless. Peace. I'm out.